All right, y'all boys, today I'm going to give away the sauce to help me become a fast editor on controller, and I know this video will help you, no doubt, because I've helped people from my Twitch chat and people around me double their edit speed and become consistent. Moving forward in this video, I'm going to provide y'all important factors that play a big role when it comes to editing faster. Number one, timing. Number two, crosshair placement. And number three, binds. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you my settings and break down to you why I chose these settings for faster editing. These are the settings that I prefer to use when it comes to editing and just having good aim and just balancing everything out overall. So you can see this is my ADS. Take that down if you want to. Now, my 5% dead zone is the main part I wanted to get to. 5% dead zone is very good when it comes to editing because number one, micro movements and number two being crosshair placement. It's very good to have low dead zone because micro movements is perfect for certain edits. Not all edits need like a lower dead zone, but lower dead zone is actually easier because the stick turns like soon as you turn. So you have more control over your stick. When you play on a higher dead zone, you have to put more pressure on the stick and it's, it, it gives that flicky effect when editing. So that's the reason why I prefer 5% dead zone. And I think that's the best for editing. You can have a balance between like eight and like probably like eight, eight, eight. I think eight is a good balance for a good aim and also having good edits. You can try that out, but I could do both very good because of practice. so we're gonna be using this map AR and crypto's warm-up edit course and in this map this helps with everything overall so this helps with crosshair placement confirming resetting it helps with just everything and it helps you become a better player overall so these are one of my favorite maps to play on at least the best map to play on i'm gonna walk you guys through all the drills in the map and the right way to do them um I am recording in five minutes and usually the higher I record, the more delay I get. So like I'm going to be messing up a lot and stuff like that, but just bear with me and just follow along. Also, guys, I want to add on every day you get on a game. I want you to practice on this map and do not leave this map until all drills are finished. And you're going to start to notice some improvement in about like three days to a week or maybe see some improvement tomorrow. You guys may not understand how to use this part of the edit course, so I'm gonna just slow down and show y'all the exact order how to do this edit course so that way you guys could be able to master your resets. Now, the better you get, the faster you can speed up. I could do it really fast, but due to the long recording and me not having a, a warm up and stuff, it's kind of a shovel for me, so bear with me. Bro, when I tell you I was struggling so much with this part, yo, I was literally about to just give up, but I was like, we don't do that over here. We're going to keep going. Know what I'm saying. When you're done with this map, if you want something else to do, you can hop in that orange warm up edit course. And that's where he has like the infinite flats. And that also works on your confirming time, like just the timing in general what we're working on in this segment. That helps you a lot. Now I'm saying that's my max speed as of right now. I can't I can't do any faster as of right now. But that's what it's going to look like when you start to get the speed down. So let me beat this real quick. And you notice how I'm almost just not seeing that blue square? Like that, that's the goal to not see that blue square. Alright guys, crosshair placement plays a big factor when it comes to faster editing because 
what I'm about to break down is all about setting up your crosshair for the next edit after already completing the first edit. Now I'm gonna show you what I mean by this. These are the buttons that are good for editing. I gave y'all in order, like for left claw, right claw, and double claw. Um, what I want you guys to do is to try to practice double confirm binds because that's what makes you ultimately faster than a lot of other controller players is double edit binds. What I mean by that is a confirm button different from an edit button. That's it, nothing more. For the people that don't know what spider claw is, it's all about just adding an extra finger so that way it makes it easier to click builds and it actually makes it easier to grip the controller. For the people that never tried it and you are going to try it, um, I recommend just staying disciplined and keep on using it because although it may feel uncomfortable, you'll be comfortable with it in about a week. It took me about like three days to a week to be comfortable. It felt so weird and I actually hurt trying to hold my controller. But after doing other courses and playing with it for a while like i don't feel any type of discomfort at all but yeah it's just adding an extra finger so if i'm right hand claw and i'm editing with right d-pad i would have my middle finger on my l1 and my ring finger on l2 all right guys that's it for today's video i hope everything that i shared with you guys to become a faster editor that helped me become a fast editor help shop i want you guys to share some ideas down below in the comments and ask questions and i'll be here to answer hopefully yeah just give me some video ideas to just help you guys out whether it's piece of control aiming whatever it is let me know if i should make it and also if you guys want a hand cam let me know y'all boys stay safe and have a good rest of y'all day peace